It's a very bad practice to have space in file names. So I'll give you an example. I'll create a file here. I'll call it happypeople.txt. So I'll list the files. Now you can see there's a text file I just created. It's empty, but it's right here. It's got a space in the name. And that's just, that can cause problems when you're writing scripts. It's just a very bad practice. You should not put spaces in a name. Now, if you have one file, it's easy enough to move that file to uh, rename it like this. So we just move that file to a new file name. Now, if I list that, you can see there's the underscore there. And that is the proper way to do it instead of using spaces. But in some cases, let's say someone gives you uh, a bunch of files or you're not thinking and you create a bunch of files. Like so, you can see I've got like five or six files here, all with spaces in their names. So all of which can cause problems. There's a few different ways to fix that. The simplest I've seen is to use the rename command. Uh, and that should be available on uh, many distributions of Linux. I believe there's some that don't have that. But if you do, if you're using something like Ubuntu, you should have it. If not, check your repositories. It should be in there somewhere. And then we're going to use the substitute. So this is, in the past, I've showed you how to do substitute with sed. This is pretty much the same thing. Um, so rename, single quote, s, forward slash. Then um, we're going to do a space here. And that's representing what we're replacing. So we're replacing spaces. Where are we going to replace it with? You can choose anything. I'm going to use an underscore here. Then another forward slash G means to repeat that and do that for every instance. So if there's more than one space in the file name, it'll replace all of them, not just the first one. And then we can do asterisk, or if you want to be more careful, asterisk text. In this case, since I'll start with test, but I'm just going to do asterisk because that's I want to do it to every file in this folder. Hit enter. Now, if I list the files, you can see they all have the underscore there. It's easier to select them, and you won't come across any problems uh, writing scripts to access those files. You know, and of course, you can always uh, change it back if you wanted to, for some reason, put the spaces back in. Just replace those two. Now, if I list, you can see that the underscores are gone. Now, you do have to be careful when you're renaming, because you may uh, come into issues where you might already have a file name. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'll create a file here and I'll call it uh, happy underscore dogs dot text. Now, if I run this command, you'll see we got an error here because that file already exists. So now uh, that one file, oh, I did that backwards anyway. Let's see. Now we're going to replace all the spaces and you can see still get an error because there's still a file that name and so that file did not get changed so you have to take that into account while doing mass renames like this at least uh, this way does not overwrite that file there's other ways to do this that will overwrite that file which uh, could be a bad thing and, and you can use this to substitute anything like uh, if we wanted to rename these files we could rename them like this now if we list you see they're all now labeled as JPEG files. So you can use this to substitute anything, but definitely if you come across files with weird characters or spaces, this is one way to rename them all so that uh, they're better named. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this.